And then if your friend doesn't get the applause and the approval and the acclamation of other people, does he get angry because you didn't give him credit? If that's your life, that's pretty sad. Pretty sad. How about I'd rather Jesus get all the credit and all the glory because it all belongs to him anyway. We need to invite people who are needy, the most needy, to come to Jesus. We're not just talking about financially. We're just saying that if any person doesn't know Jesus Christ as his or her Savior, they're needy. They need to know Jesus. They need salvation. They need help. They need wisdom. And without Christ, you're trying to go through this life and make it without the wisdom of God. And i got to tell you, life is hard enough already, isn't it? To try to go through this life without any wisdom from God is just foolish and dangerous. It's not going to work. So we need to invite people who are most needy to come to Jesus. It's not, it's not about coming to church. Somebody says, to you, well, you've got to come to church. I want to say, that's a good thing to go to church because wonderful people are here. What we need to say is you need to come to Jesus. Come to Jesus and give your life to him. Just like we did. Undeserved as we are. And it says in verse 14. It says. And you will be blessed because they cannot repay you. For you shall be repaid at the resurrection. Don't worry. Every kind thing you do. Every good thing you do. Every time you deny yourself. And puts and helps someone else. God remembers. He's keeping a record. Every time you gave and you didn't have to. Every time you encouraged somebody in they, because they were discouraged. Every time you prayed for somebody else. Every single time you did something for others and for Jesus, Jesus remembers. And when you meet him, you're going to be shocked that he didn't forget one thing you did. There are undoubtedly kind of things that some of you have done that you haven't even thought about. You forgot all about it when you meet him. You're going to be surprised. He won't forget one thing you did when you sacrificed yourself and obediently loved others and helped others and did kind things for other people. <coughs> focus on eternity. Don't focus on the here and the now. By the way, God is a rewarder of those who seek Him. Hebrews 11.6 so don't get hurt feelings when you don't get the recognition you think that you deserve. Just humble yourself. I don't take care of it. 